Okay, this is my tutorial for creating a bunker lip without using seam blending. Uh, basically, I've created a bunker lip texture, which is three textures, the sand, grass and the dirt in one. I've got the same texture for sand and for grass in the game. So they should join up nicely and then you'll have the bunker lip dirt in the middle. I've added a few darker areas to create a more 3D look and I've saved it as a TGA 64 by 1024. So let's go into APCD. Here it is as a bunker lip texture. single texture. So we've got our standard bunker, no lip at all, just grass and sand. I'm going to select the bunker. First thing to do, extrude it down one. Extrude it down one click, whoops that's two. Good start. Okay, one click, and then I'm going to scale it in one click. There we go. Now I'm going to select the outside edge of that bunker lip. So we're on perimeter. To set the sharpness to naught. So I want to create a soft curve going down of the grass. I need to sharpen the inside edge ready for when we extrude that. So I'm going to select again the edge of the sand, sharpen that back to minus one which is the same as four. Now I'm going to face the extrusion with some more rough so it looks the same as the bit outside and there we go and now I'm going to face the bunker select it and I'm going to extrude that down three notches Done it again. If only there was a key to go down a notch at a time. It's the hardest thing to do. One, two, three. Okay. And I'm going to scale it in three. One, two, three. Okay. So now this is going to be our dirt lip texture, so I'll select it, find my bunker lip texture, and add that. Right, now I'm going to path map that around the edge. So, new mapping, path map, and this is going to be bunker 12a because I'm in the middle of doing my course at the moment so bunker 12a enter that change the VRAP to 10 to get a natural look and add and there we go it's round the bunker it's upside down but we'll soon flip that round now I'm just checking to see if any sections have gone distorted which you get from time to time looks like this one's all right it's a pretty round bunker this so it's not too bad but if you get any distortions where the textures just a blur and stretched and looking nasty all you do is click somewhere else on your on your lips with the selection on just click somewhere else and add it again if, it's, if you still get any move around click a different area add it again if you pick a 
keep doing that eventually you'll just pick one that works perfectly you won't have to change anything so I'm just going to flip that around and deselect the area so I can see how the bunker looks and that's pretty much the bunker done we've all, we've got to smarten it up a bit because because you have to use sharp edges to hold the bunker lip texture correctly you'll find that when you get the light in a certain direction like here you can see we've got a dark light sharp line there in the sunshine it's, it'll be fine but in the shadows it'll need a bit of adjusting so what we do that looks fine around there but you can see it's a pretty pretty nice realistic bunker edge uh, but all you do for the dark bits is move the verts about to get rid of the shadows so I'm going to go vert move usually for these edges you need to separate your uh, extrusion you did make it a bit wider so I'll just drag that point out there and you'll see if I then drag it up on the z-axis you can round it off you can also drag the bottom edge vert if you drag that up that will also change it but you've also got to match your bunker see now it's gone light here because our bunkers too steep down so we need to then pull that vert up to match it in but basically it's just a juggling act some bunkers take a bit of fiddling others pretty quick you'll only have to adjust a few a few edges but but you pull them out and up and down and just go around the whole bunker work your way around highlight them to see where you are that's the one so I want to drag that out pull it up and you can see we're getting a nice smooth edge and that's about it easy way to make a bunker lip with no seam blending at all uh, I think it's a pretty natural looking effect so happy bunker lipping <laughs>